Today, we're going to be talking about something pro players love to do. Every single pro player does this. And if you don't know, it's the bunny hop. I do want to say really quickly, I do appreciate all the love in my videos. Make sure to like the video, especially if you learned something new. Let's get right into it. So in past Call of Duties, this hasn't really been a thing. But in this game, you can actually bunny hop. Now, bunny hop sounds kind of weird because you, you would think it's a normal jump, but it's not. It's a jump after the jump. Now, why is this so good? It's just the movement and the mechanic itself. It's really hard to react to because you're already pre-aiming as soon as you jump around a corner. But to top it off, you're hitting an extra little jump and an extra bunny hop that it makes it hard for other players to react and kind of follow. So it's a really good camera and just catches people off guard. It's just so fast. So now let's talk about how to bunny hop. And there's three really important things that you guys got to pay attention to. So timing is very, very important to bunny hopping. You got to time the jump. If you do not time the jump, perfectly you're not going to do it as you see i try to do it there but i didn't do it nice little bunny hop there nice little bunny hop there it's all about timing it perfectly basically when you jump as soon as you land you're going to want to jump again and you have to time it. it does take a little bit of practice to really get it down but once you get used to it it's just like as soon as you're going to hit the floor as soon as you know you're about to hit the floor that's when you jump tip number two pre-aiming now pre-aiming is a big factor when it comes to bunny hopping you just don't want to jump out like this in the open and like obviously you can see when i'm jumping and just moving my hip fire is really wide and then i'm gonna react slow if i aim in late it's just really good to pre-aim every bunny hop so i'm gonna jump around the corner pre-aim and bunny hop as soon as i know i'm gonna bunny hop i jump aim in and bunny hop it and you don't see me doing this it's just it's just slow it's late pre-aim jump bunny hop jump pre-aim bunny hop and and the whole thing about it you just got to make sure you're pre-aiming every time you're gonna bunny hop pre-aim you can even do a little forward bunny hop piece right there little premium action tip number three doing it at the right time now bunny hopping obviously it's really good but there's times where you want to do it, and there's times when you don't want to do it i always recommend bunny hopping from the distances so let's say i'm going to get into a gunfight mid map and i think there's a guy here or a guy up top now obviously it's pretty far it's a pretty good distance you know pretty good range um this is the perfect time to bunny hop so i'm going to engage with a bunny hop like that or obviously like and the good thing about being pre-aimed already let's say he's not here I can make an easy adjustment and just do this and I'll shoot him up top. So bunny hopping is really good when you think you're going to engage like mid to long range gunfights. Like this is a perfect time to do it. You know, you want to jump around the corner really quickly. You can bunny hop like that. I like to engage in these gunfights right here. Like you can obviously do this. You can pre aim unless you want to bunny hop it. You jump around the corner and then bunny hop there. Hold up. You jump around the corner. Bunny, a little bunny hop. Bunny hops are just really good from mid to long ranges. You never really want to bunny hop close up. I mean, you can do it sometimes, but at that point, you might as well just hit a nice slide cancel, just a regular little jump shot. You know to play. Now to go in depth into actually how to bunny hop, because some of you guys may be confused or not exactly understand how to do it. Simply, what you want to do is you want to double tack sprint, and when you're gonna go around a corner, you want to turn your character to the side. So you don't want to just do bunny hop front, right? Doesn't make sense. So you're gonna run straight. And as soon as you're about to come around the corner, you're going to turn your character and jump to the side. So this is exactly what I mean. And then you're going to hit the bunny hop. Now, as soon as you do that, the next step is you're going to jump. And then as soon as you jump, right when you're about to land, as soon as you're going to touch the ground, you're going to jump again. And now there's obviously really good bunny hops that you can see like I'll fly. Let me see if I can do one right here. That's a pretty solid bunny hop. And there's bunny hops that, well, you didn't, you don't really jump that much. You see, th these, those are really good bunny hops right there. And it's all about momentum and timing. If you can get the momentum from the tech sprint, you jump far and you hit a nice bunny hop, it's going to be a good one. Sometimes, you know, until you really master it, like that's like kind of a small one. That was kind of a, a, a shitty bunny hop, some can say. But the most important part about it is timing. You got to time the jump. You can practice just jumping normal. Obviously, this is not the way you want to do it. You want to be aimed in. You want to be pre-aimed. But just for practice, you can just do this and just try to time it and jump it. And as soon as you kind of get the, the second jump in, as soon as you start doing that second jump, you're like, okay, you know, I'm getting pretty good at this. You don't want to get like a dead jump. If I just do this and I don't jump after, that's a dead jump. As long as you're getting some sort of jump after you land, like that's a bad, bad bunny hop, but I'm getting some sort of jump. Like that's a really good bunny hop right there. You can see like I literally jump pretty far on my next jump. So as soon as you start practicing that, then you want to aim in. So like that. Now to show you guys how it's done, I'm going to double tech sprint, get ready to jump around this corner. Aim in and jump again. Aim in, jump again. See, these are like little bunny hops. These aren't the best ones, but with practice, makes perfect. That's a little, a little better one right there. Ooh, not a good one. Now we're going to go into the CDL playlist and demonstrate the bunny hopping and show you guys why it's so effective and why it's so good. Make sure to keep watching the video. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and drop a like. It really helps out the videos, especially if you want to see some more tips and just great gameplay. So don't forget, man. You're dead. Oh my god, I'm getting disrespectful. Oh, I just need to... 
Oops. So we do got some Saint Petro hard point here, and I am going to be gunning. Of course, the team kill. Nice little bunny hop there. And actually, child the bunny hop right here. Show you guys. Hard oh, what the hell? This guy's. So I had a slide cancel that. That's a good slide cancel time, not a bunny hop time. Now, bunny hopping is really effective. Like I said, usually mid to long distances is when you want a bunny hop. So if I'm going to chow out here, I could hit a nice bunny hop. Damn, that's a good bunny hop. And like I said, practice makes perfect. Us pro players have been doing it for a while now. It's just almost the start of the game. Um, I will say this. It is slightly better in ARs than it is on subs. So if you're an AR player and you want to get better at bunny hopping, um, it is really good for... Obviously, when you're in a close distance engagement, slide canceling is really good. Like that, it's just usually the most effective. Whenever I'm going to challenge out wide like this, there's a smoke, but you get the bunny hop. And I'm not the best at it anymore because I kind of stopped doing it. Oh, my God. Some people. Oh, that's you, pimp. My bad. My bad, pimp. My bad, Mr. Pimp. Come on, poop. My bad, poopy head. No, they're rotating. Cut them off. Kill them all. Don't let them get away with this time. Kill you. Water, kill you. Oh. I got double team. I got double team. So let's say I'm about to challenge wide water here. There's actually a guy behind me. I'm going to get shot in the back. Damn it. I was going to demonstrate it, but I got shot in the back. Bunny hop right here. Don't see nothing. And timing is the most important thing when it comes to bunny hopping. I'm not going to lie. Getting the timing down can be quite difficult. It's not, it's not always the easiest. All right here. And pro players love to bunny hop. The two things pro players do the most is bunny hop and slide cancel. It catches people off guard. You didn't expect me here, huh? Oh my god! Oh! I just went so big. I don't think you guys understand. I, forced, I got two piece forced a double team kill. Like the amount of big I just went, I went Donkey Kong big. People do like to call me Donkey Kong too. So. Can't even see his head. I'm trying to, but I can't see his head. Oh my god. I hate spawning here. I don't like doing this, but I want to I want a closer spawn. Spawn me closer. Just like that, baby. Hack the yard and gun runner where the bunny hop is the most the most effective. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got two. One in back left, back left. Now, obviously, there's some maps that are really good to bunny hop, and there's some where it's not as effective. And it's just the way the game is, right? It's just the map designs. So, like obviously, you can bunny hop more in some certain maps than you can in others. Oh my god, I ran out of poopy head. Oh my god, you too. Let's go. I'm gonna hit a flank, hit a flank here. And a map like St. Petro, like, there are certain scenarios where you could bunny hop, but you don't really catch a sub bunny hopping as much on this map. Maybe an AR can bunny hop more sometimes. This is a, this is a big slide canceling map. Oh, a lot of the engagements are just close with the sub. I mean, you can think about mid-map, you can think about water. That's when you can bunny hop. Like right there, hit a nice little bunny hop. Hit a nice little bunny hop. Uh, but obviously these are like, <laughs> you guys know, St. Petro is not some sort of magically like big long map. It's not, it's, it's just facts, you know, seven bullets. Damn. Three seconds left. So we're going to rotate because that's how the CDL playlist is. You rotate at the last second. They have hill control. You could, you could bunny hop this. I bunny hopped this before. Uh, I choked it really bad right there, but I have bunny hopped this before. Nice little head glitch here. Dude, I really feel like they're going to pinch us, bro. And I'm so scared because I don't want to get pinched, but I feel like it's going to happen. Oh god, oh god, I got one. Oh, I got two. No, I got one. Big win, teammate, big win, teammate. Slide cancel. Kill one, bunny hop out. Oh, I'm not even gonna bunny hop out because we flipped actually. Wait, I hear someone. Oh my god, it's Chinese letters. Oh no, it's D1 Zilla. Good bunny hop out here. This is like a wide shot, a bunny hop this. And then end up bunny hopping, just jump shotted. I got it right now, demo. Slide cancel, slide cancel. Slide cancel. And it's a funny thing, though, because there's a reason why pro players are good at gunfights and engaging gunfights. Like, it's something so minuscule and you, you don't really think about it. But pro players, like, there's different mechanics, different tactics you can run and, like, do in gunfights, right? Like, there's the slide cancel. There's the bunny hop. There's the jump shot. There's a the drop shot. And pro players are really good figuring out what to do. Oh, my God. Pro players are really good at deciding what's the best thing to do in that specific gunfight. Should I have drop shot it? Should I have I sl slide canceled? Should I have, you know, bunny hop? Should I have just jump shot it normally? You know? And the more you play, the more you just get good at the game and the weird gunfights you're in, you realize what's the best in every certain situation. Like, you see, like, right now, I'm just hitting just random jump shots. Just going for random jump shots. Look at that. Am I slide canceling? No, because I think it's ass in that situation. I'm one shot. I'm not going to slide cancel and get a slow pull of time in a random gunfight when there's a guy near me. I'm also in the middle of a gunfight, so I'm just going to jump shot regularly. 
You know, pros are really good at just doing certain things that each slide cancel around a corner. You guys already know. You guys, I talk a lot about this. Slide cancel around corners. I do it every... Is that a guy? That's a dead body. You guys know, like, slide cancel around almost every corner. It's really good. It's a camera. Right here, I'm going to jump out. Bunny hop. Oh, I didn't actually bunny hop. Oh, I stopped shooting because I thought I killed him. I'll finish him there. Um, but yeah, pros are just really good at doing every single thing. And like the whole point of my videos, honestly, other than tips, like I've done like a lot of these 100% pro players. I, th I talked about slide cancel, bunny hop right there. That's a perfect time to bunny hop. That's a long street. Clear, clear vision. Lot of burger walk right there. Even the burger walk, like. I don't talk about the burger walk that much. Burger walk's good. I'm just gonna let my teammate kill them. My last two videos have been how to slide cancel and how to camera, literally. And I talk about a lot of these things. And right now, I'm gonna teach you guys about the bunny hop. And it's just, you learn. You keep learning. You keep understanding what's good, what's not. Dude, he's in that same, laying down that same exact spot. Oh man, this is a really, really close game. I'm gonna bunny hop out here. I bunny hopped, not into a gunfight, but eventually got into one. Got two, and I'm just going to get traded. Come on. Eat. Ah, good try. All right, we can still win this. 10 seconds. Yep, get ready to move. Okay, I understand. He got stuck. I'm just going to let him have this three seconds. Slide cancel around the corner. I don't know what my team is shooting at. Bunny hop right here. Location secure. Here you got close. Ciao. No, yep, water spawn. I should have read that. I've like bunny hopped and demonstrated it a couple times, but I feel kind of bad because it's just so hard, man. Like, it's just, this is just not the best map. I'm not going to lie. Woo! Like, I've tried. Guys, I've, I've played like four maps and I only got cave in this map. And like every time, like I'm trying to get a good map. I think Hackney is the best map to demonstrate it on because you could do it so much on Hackney Yard. Like literally, I did not get one Hackney. And some of these maps is just hard, man. It's just not always the right time to do it. But like pro players do it almost every time they know they can. I actually got, I got a Lyric World Star right here. Oh, I got my ghost back. Oh, we lost, right? There's no way I can make it in time. I literally got to kill this kid off. Nope. Damn it. Still dropped 47 kills. Literally had an unbelievable game. But yeah, guys, bunny hopping, pro players love it. You know, I do it anytime I can and when I think it's best. It's all about a balance. Healthy balance, executing when it's the right time. I hope you guys love today's video. Yes, it is the real apathy. I love you. I hope you love me because I love you. Is that the real apathy, guys? It's me? I think it is. Guys, only 25% of people that watch my video is subscribed. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn notifications on. Like the video. It helps me a ton. If you're enjoying these tips, man, I'll keep doing them. Just make sure to like the video. Comment down below what tips you guys want me to give and other video ideas you might have. I'll definitely look at the comments. I'll see you guys next time. This has been your boy Apathy. Peace out.